my name is Dori and I want to welcome you to my first video on YouTube. I decided to start a hair channel in 2020 and my first video is how to get this look. Soft curls on short hair. Because short hair has been my look for the last three years, almost three years, I decided to um, show you the tricks I learned on this entire time. Uh, I'm gonna show you on my channel um, tricks for long hair, short hair. If you have questions, we're gonna make Q and A's about hair, about some parts of my life, not everything. Um, so I am here to answer all your questions about hair in the way that um, I like to do it and in my vision of hair. So before we get started, I want to tell you that I have an Instagram page like everybody these days and if you want to see more of my work, please go. Um, this is my name, Dorina Tamas, and also I'm going to leave you a link in the description box so you can go and follow me on Instagram and check out um, my work and maybe have a um, more interactive way to communicate. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do that. Give this video a thumbs up after you watched it or do it right now better because maybe you're gonna forget. So the first things you're gonna need a blow dryer, a curler, a brush and hair clip. From styling products, I'm going to use a bit of hair oil, a texturing spray, a smoothing spray just to have this shiny smooth look and also I'm going to use a hairspray. So let's get started. First things first, I'm gonna take this towel out we're gonna put the towel aside over there. I'm gonna apply one pump of hair oil in the ends. I always like to warm up the oil a little bit in my hands, and this way it gives me the opportunity to the possibility to apply it more evenly because it's all over my hands. And yes, I go all over the hair. Okay. And then, then I apply it on my hair. And now we are going to dry my hair on medium speed, medium heat. So a very cool trick, if you wanna have volume, just put your hands in your hair like this and then lift up and you come with the hair dryer from your forehead to the ends of the hair. And this way you will get a lot of volume. So let's get started. <laughs> So now that my hair is almost dried, I'm going to use my brush and I'm going to start brushing my hair from the ends to the root so I don't cause any breakage. And maybe you can like part your hair exactly where it's going to part. And then you start drying it again. So now because I want to have more volume and I want to have volume like in the front, I am going to do what I do usually. I'm just going to take a tiny piece of hair, like a small triangle of some sort, and I'm going to brush it and I'm gonna blow dry it like this. So I'm gonna blow dry it like this. I applied a little bit of cold air. So when I take this down, I have my hair a little bit cold and this way it's gonna set better. Then I put it around my fingers 
just like that. And I pin it on my head with the hair clip. Good. So you look silly for a little bit, but then you're gonna look amazing. So now that we are done with drying our hair, and while we wait, we are going to part our hair. At the ends of my eyes, I go with both of my fingers and through the back, and this way I get a, a nice parting. It's almost perfect and it's done. And uh, because I have really short hair, this part, it's not gonna be that curled, it's just gonna be a little bit twisted and I don't need it to be curled. Now I have a mirror, thank god I thought of that. And when I'm done with this, you can see it's not really curled, it's just a little bit twisted or so. I leave the second part of my hair down and I check to see like right here, it's a little bit too much. So I take this and I pin it up as well with the rest of my hair and I am pleased with what it's left. You go with your curler, you turn it around once, then you put it out so you have this tiny knot over here and then that's your curl and you go all around. So a lot of you make the mistake of having one side go like this and one side going like this. I'm gonna show you up close what you girls usually do and it's wrong. So you always want your curls to go away from the face. So you do this, you take it. You roll it one time, you take it out, you roll it again, you take it out and you go straight because you want that end to be a little bit straight. And then you go around your hair and when you come here, what you girls do, and it's wrong, what you girls do, is you take a piece of hair and you put the curler to, next to the face and this over here and you go like this when you should you always have to have the color behind your piece of hair like this if you do this like you girls usually do so you go around you take it out you go around and you go straight again do you see the difference between this it's away from the face and nice and this in your face so this brings out my features more and gives me more volume than this this just goes inside so I'm gonna fix this right now and never curl one piece of hair so much like I did we want to take I'm gonna take this off so it would be more clear for you guys what I want to do okay so you see the volume you see it so now from the top of my eyebrows like this I go all the way to the back comb it with your hand and if you want to keep that volume, just roll it around your fingers like that and then pin it down again.
don't start curling like over here because it's gonna be very hard to take it out when it's time. Okay, two more and we are almost done. And this is what you are left off curls very curly curls so right now I look around and I know that when I'm gonna um, break the curls I'm gonna need a little bit more volume here so I just break this curl a little bit and I add a little bit of volume in here so I kind of redo the curl but not really so I just added a little bit of volume there and the rest I kind of like. I'm going to apply some smoothing spray from Goldwell. And this is more applying it in the air and then let the mist touch the air. If you have um, natural unprocessed hair that usually doesn't hold curls, you should not be using the smoothing spray or a little bit of oil. I do that because I have processed hair, my hair is colored and um, the curls will stay either way, even if I put oil or not. And for me, oil is life. So you just run your fingers through your hair. Like you are a monster. Yes, people, I am half crazy. Good. So now I like it. If you feel your parting is not right, you can still um, change that. If you want to see how you part your hair, now I'm gonna ruin everything. But I don't really. Just comb your hair backwards and then the hair is gonna just fall exactly in um, the right way it wants to sit or um, the way you usually wear it. And now, hairspray. Lift your hair up a little bit to give extra volume. And then let the hairspray um, cool and fix a little bit. So if you want extra volume right here, you just part your hair like this. You just put a little bit of hair, hairspray here and you hold it in the opposite direction of how you want to wear it. Then you take another piece, you put hairspray at the bottom, you hold it for a little bit, You have volume for days and also here if you want volume you do the same and you just and you have volume in. so this is it if you want to add more texture and the more rough look you can use a little bit of the polish cream I have maximum this amount for me. You put it in your hands and you just press it on your curls. And this way you can see your curls changing. And now you just make it nice. Okay guys, so this is the final look. You can see I have soft curls on short hair 
And in case you forgot to subscribe and like this video, please do that now. If you have questions, ideas about what you want to see next, or if you have any um, trouble finding the right hair products for you, please write me in the comments down below and I'm going to make videos depending on what you guys want to see. So thank you for watching and see you next time.